Hello there and friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kali Kalurondi Antonad and I also go by the name of Kali and I'm happy that you found your way to today's video in which I will show you the post review of this canvas called Astronomer by Diamond Art Club. So it has been a while that I've been working on this one and I have a lot to talk to you guys about this painting so please get something to drink, something to sip and join me in today's post review. So like I told you guys, this one is called The Astronomer by, um, it's actually a picture by drawn by Miles Pinkney and it was licensed by Diamond Art Club. So you'll find everything down below. Um, so if this is a canvas that you would like to do as well, you can find the link down in the description box. So what I wanted to tell you is that this one is a square painting. It's a pretty big picture. So it's a 41 to 27 inches or 105 centimeter to 70 centimeter. And if you know a little bit more about Diamond Art Club, you know that they have actually some ABs, um, Aurora Borealis stones. And if I zoom in, I can show you what this is. So the ABs are actually these diamonds here that have a coating on top that sparkle a little bit more than the rest of the diamonds. So we had in this kit, we had four of these. We have the light blue here. We have a yellow one that you can see here that's sparkling a little bit of rosy. We also had a like a real orange one and this one you can see here. So this is the orange one. Also, this is the orange one. This is the yellow one. This is the blue one. And we also had a white one. Um, and in this section we don't have it, but you can see it here. So all of the stars that you will see will actually be white AB. So there was a lot of AB in this kit. So what I wanted to tell you guys is this kit, I actually started it on the 5th of um, November last year, to 2022. And I finished it this year, well, right now, the 20th February of 2023. It took me a lot of time to finish this canvas just because uh, when I started working on it, I got a big part done. Then Christmas happened and I worked on another canvas at the same time and I put this one to the side just to grab it again in January and to continue working on it. I got a little bit busy with work, so um, I just finished it during um, most of my holidays and I kept two sections after my holidays and I finished it today. So it took me a lot of time and this is due because it's a square one. So you may know that square ones may take you a little bit longer to finish than round ones. Just because the drills are a little bit smaller, you have to see that you place them correctly. Um, so this will take you a little bit more time. The second thing is, and this is the main part, um, this one is heavily confetti. So it's heavily, it's really confetti heavy, that's what I wanted to say. And that's just due to the fact that we have a lot of colors that we are going to switch around. So there are not many places where you can actually put down the same color. You always have to go back to change the colors up. And um, I think this is exactly what makes this picture stand out as well. So there are a lot of different colors. We had a total of 66 colors in this kit. And the part that I think is super enjoyable is actually this machine here where the astronomer is looking through to see the stars. And if you see the colors that are used in this, it's just so magic. And you have so many ABs that are placed in this part as well. Another fun part to do is actually his rope here, the red and purple one. It's just so outstanding with the blue. And a lot of color confetti is going on in this kit. So if you don't like confetti, don't buy the kit, I guess, because there's just so much of it. Um, or maybe you will fall in love with it while doing it. I don't really know, but the canvas is gorgeous. And I think it's totally worth the time that I've put in it. Um, I can't even tell you how long it took me, but it took me a long, long time to finish this one. But I'm happy with the result. So in general, it's an amazing, amazing canvas again. It's an amazing picture rendered amazingly by Diamond Art Club. I have nothing to say about the rendering. It's just gorgeous. And I think this one is definitely one that I would put on my wall. Even though I'm usually a person that does not put anything on the wall. Um, but this one is one that I could place uh, for sure. 
The part that is most fun to work on, on in my opinion, was the night sky. Just because you have so many different colors of black, so many shades of blue, and you have the little spots where you place the ABs down. So this was so enjoyable to work on and definitely my favorite part of this canvas. So if you're working on it or if you are maybe in the future watching this video and um, you are working on this canvas as well, let me know in the comments what's your favorite section to work on on this canvas. I'm so curious about this. So, um, like usually, the, the canvas material was amazing. So it's really thick, so there's nothing wrong with it. It's waterproof as well. Uh, we have the scalp border, so nothing will fray here. Um, the drills by themselves, they fit perfectly. They stuck perfectly together. Um, there were just like a few things that I still want to address that um, gave me a little bit to struggle with in this canvas. So there were a few amount of things. The first thing was that actually when I unboxed it, unfortunately I did not unbox it on camera, but when I unboxed it, I got all my little baggies from Diamond Art Club and there was this one color. It was the 3348 that came with a bag that was actually empty. So I think it was a um, manufacturer problem. Um, I don't know if you have bought this kit. Can you check it out and just let me know if maybe uh, it was just my kit, hopefully for you guys. Um, but this color was missing and this was not too bad because it's actually a color that you don't need many drills of. I think you place a handful of them and that's it in the whole canvas. So I was not that um, like uh, it did not really make me um, put me in a difficult spot there, but um, it was still like a little bit annoying um, not to get the drills. I decided not to contact Diamond Art Club because this would take some time to get them. And since it were just a few drills, um, I checked out my diamond box. So I actually have like a store space, like a storage where I put all my remaining drills from Diamond Art Club. And unfortunately, the color, I did not have it. I was looking up on the internet similar colors, which I could switch out. Um, and the closest I found was like actually this one. It's like more bluish one, while the other one was more greenish. But since I told you guys, you only place a few drills of that. So um, I think it's okay. You don't really know. I can't tell you guys where I did put these down. So um, for me, it's fine. I don't see the difference. I think it still looks amazing. Um, and it feels good with the other colors that you put down that are also greenish. So um, I think you can't even tell. But just to let you know that maybe if you kit it up, look out for like this one here, the number 51 in the kit. Um, yeah, that was that. Another thing that gave me a lot of trouble with this kit was actually um, the three and the eight. So um, let's see. If we take a look at this one here, you can see that we have a lot of, I tried to zoom in so you can see better. Um, we have like a lot of numbers. We have the AB, which is actually three, and we have the eight, you can see it down here. So unfortunately, a lot of the red colors, if you take a look at the F, they are put next to each other on the canvas. And on the canvas, they look actually pretty much the same. Since they all have like this red background, this is pretty much the same red as well. And they have like a black, black um, ink used to write the symbol. And eight and three sometimes look a lot alike. So you will see this in my little video that I made for you while I was placing the diamond so that you can take a look at this for yourself. Okay, so I used this part just to show you how difficult it was sometime to point out the difference between a three and a eight. So we have here all of the eights, of course. But then you have like a tree here and more eights. And um, sometimes it's really hard. Like the F, you can see it quite clearly. The eight and the tree though, um, everything is red. The background is red every time. And you have like the symbols, the numbers or the letters in black. So this is fine. But um, if you have an eight and a tree that looks so similar. And here you can see it's fine, but sometimes it just got like so confusing and it was so hard for me to make the difference between these two. 
So this is the only part where I would say like you have to be careful with this canvas because eight and three looks so similar. Um, but for the rest of the, the, the letters and the symbols, there was no problem at all with this canvas. Apart from this little mishap, um, there was another thing going on with the letter F. So you saw the letter F, it's not a red one. And what I noticed is that when I opened up the baggie and I put it in my storage container, um, you actually got different a mixture of like these colors. And I will show you, I will do a little quick video about it so you'll see that actually there's a mixture of two different shades uh, for one color. And they came in one single bag, so I did not even mix them up. I will show you this without placing them all. So um, actually this is everything that's left from the F symbol. Um, and you can see if I do a close up that the red colors are actually not the same. Um, so we have here like a darker shade. We have a more darker shade here, darker shade here, um, there, there. And it's not like I mixed them actually up. It's just that like the drills came in two different colors. So I placed them nevertheless because I did not have other F, like I did not have a 666 uh, enough to place down on this canvas. But um, you don't actually see it like if I even though I place them, you won't see that there are two colors. This is like from very close up, you can see that there's a difference in them if you take a look at these. But if I place them down, you won't really see the difference, especially since they are around like other symbols like the eight and the three um, that are also red. So you won't really see them. Um, but I just thought at the beginning that it was my mistake that I mixed something up but not at all it's just like um this one color came in different shades so it was in one single bag and they were all just like mixed up so um i don't know if it's just like that they take out like uh, they put some drills in it that they have been like there was a rest of them and then they switched them up or if they just wanted to fill the bag if it was a problem with the manufacturing i don't really know so this is another thing that um, I just wanted to tell you so that you may know and you may take, maybe if you work on the same kit, you can tell me if you had the same issue with your own canvas. Um, like I told you guys, like the tree and the eight is just something that you have to be careful about. If you're careful, there's nothing wrong. You won't just uh, confuse them. Uh, the F symbol for me, it was not too bad either because you can't see it with the naked eye. But um, what was a little bit more troubling with this kit was the amount of drills that were actually um, stuck together. And it was such a pain actually every time to put them um, apart. Like, let me show you guys maybe quickly. Uh, let me grab some tray for you and you might understand what I'm talking about. So if we take a look at this, for example, I hope this one is one of these. So actually it mainly was a problem with the darker shades. So if we have a look at the drills, um, you will see that we have a few that come apart, but most of them are like stuck together. Like you have two that are always back to back put together and it's so annoying to work with this. So it was not just one baggie that had this problem and it was not just one color that had this problem. Actually, there were many different shades, a lot of the browner and darker colors that had this problem uh, from the 310 over to like all the brown shades. Um, and there were a few of them actually um, and this in all of the bags that came in. You have to know that the brown shades are actually the main color of this kit. So I struggled a lot with that. Um, let me just show you, there are also some static in it. You can see it here because they keep stuck, like they are getting stuck here. So this was really, really annoying. And for that reason, I just think, you can see it here as well. I just think that I'm not going to keep them. Um, like at least not the drills that gave me problems by being stuck together. And the last thing I wanted to talk to you about the drills is actually that I did not spill any drills. Um, I'm actually pretty good at not spilling drills most of the time. But what happened is that 
um, for this color here, like it's number 10, it's a blue one. So most colors are blue and brown in this kit or shades of clearer brown. Um, and this is a main color. And I'm just used to the high standard of Diamond Art Club's drills. So I never ran out of any diamonds from them and they give you usually a lot of them. But what I noticed is for this color here, this is all that I have left. Like I have like three of them left and I'm not even sure if they are three the same color. Yeah, they are. But this is all I have left of this color. And I mean, um, usually they give you a lot, but this time it was really, really close. It was a close call and I was really sweating for this. I think though that the 312 is a color that I would have had in stock, but if you're new to diamond painting and you run out of a color, this is pretty annoying. So um, I just wanted to let you know about this. In general, I really enjoyed working on this kit. It was a bit long, uh, a lot of confetti, even for me who loves confetti, um, except for the little problems with the drill. I really enjoyed working on this kit and I think it turned out so, so gorgeous. Just let it sink in for a moment. I will give you a close up right now so that you can see the entire canvas in total. But this is it mainly for me. Um, this is all I had to say about this canvas. What I really liked was um, the colors they used. The rendering is amazing, of course. Um, as always, the placement of the ABs fits perfectly for this canvas. The night sky was a delight to work on. Um, what was a little bit miss was like the struggle with the diamonds. Um, also the fear of running out of diamonds is something that I had never known from Diamond Art Club before. So maybe it was just a problem with this kit. I don't know. Um, anyway, let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are about this canvas. Um, like always, if you like today's video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. This would make me really happy and it helps me out and makes my channel grow. And let me know in the comments down below first if this is a canvas that you actually have or want to work on. And also if you're working on it, what's your favorite part? Like mine was really and clearly and definitely the night sky. So much fun to work on that. So uh, let me know all of this in the comments down below. And if you have questions, you can always ask them down below as well in the comment section. So if you're new to diamond painting, please consider also subscribing. I do a lot of diamond painting and other crafts on my channel. And yeah, I hope you stay healthy. I hope you stay hydrated and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.